Okay, the hybrid motorcycle. Okay, what we got here is simply, well, the same idea as hybrid cars, but a little bit of a twist here. See this right here? One horsepower engine hooked up to a generator. Okay? One horse, maybe more than that. Depends on the size of the uh, motorcycle, might be. But uh, the idea is to use, get the most amount of uh, resource out of uh, the smallest amount of uh, engine. <laughs> so, it might be a two horsepower, it might be a three, who knows. But here's the idea, we'll just start out with say a one horsepower engine, hook it up to a generator, and by running that, while you've got an electric motor running a motorcycle, an electric motor hooked up by gears to the back wheel, of course, spinning the back wheel. Now, here, an example of that, if you want to see this already, a motorcycle that's electric that goes up to 60 miles an hour, that would be the Zero X. You can Google that, go online, look it up, and you'll find it and you'll see video on it. They've got an electric motorcycle already. It uses a, a AC instead of DC current, and they've got their own specialized battery that, that's really uh, high, high output. And uh, it's, it's called the Zero X. They've only got one gear, though. So I'm advocating multiple gears with using uh, more, uh, lesser, say, lesser batteries and lesser generators. They're not as specialized, because, uh, but that you could actually get a hold of in the marketplace. So you're not going to be able to get a hold of these batteries that are the, the type of uh, AC motor that they themselves developed for the Zero X motorcycle that you'll find online. But with the, given the resources we have, if you take their concept, their motorcycle only has one gear. So that's why I'm saying multiple gears. It just goes straight from the back of the motorcycle, or some, some, sorry, from the uh, front of the motorcycle, and you'll see that when you look it up. They go straight from the front of the motorcycle. It, just, it looks like a very, very small sprocket on the front. It goes to a big sprocket on the back wheel. Okay. So from the motor, there's a little bitty motor, little bitty sprocket, and it goes to a big sprocket on the back wheel. Okay. <clears throat> they don't have any other gears though. It just goes. It's just straight, using more, more and more electricity if you want to go faster and faster. Now imagine if they had more than one gear, on the front where the motor is actually turning the chain that goes to the back sprocket. Or if they put more, uh, well, the, the sprocket is so big on the back of the wheel, you'll you'll see where the back wheel is. The pr sprocket is so big. You wouldn't want to put any more more gears uh, back there. <laughs> no way, that's wrong. Yeah, actually, you would. You could put, see, it'd be easier to it'd be easy to put a smaller sprocket on the back wheel. So you could go either way. Since they have such a small sprocket on the front where the motor is, they could either put a larger one there, or a, a smaller one on the back wheel, or both, and get a couple of extra gears out of it. So I'm advocating multiple gears because. Uh, the type of motors we would be able to get a hold of and the type of uh, batteries uh, are, are lesser quality than what these guys have on the Zero X. Now, electric motor driven, of course, need, doesn't need to be set up and saying that all along. It uses electric motor. So the hybrid motorcycle, okay, it'll have a battery, but then it'll also have this one horsepower engine or maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, depending on the size of the motorcycle. I'm just saying this is just a starting point. A one horsepower engine, even just this on any motorcycle, turning a generator, just kind of idling at a certain speed, and we'll have to figure out what the best speed is for that. But the thing is, this is going to supplement your electric power. While you're running your motorcycle and burning energy from the batteries, this is going to be restoring a, a portion of that energy and trying to, <coughs> is running while you're running your motorcycle. And so the motorcycle is the smallest, smallest type of, of actual uh, motor vehicle on, on the roads that you can use. So this is the perfect place to perfect this idea right here of using uh, supplementation, using a, co a combustion engine to supplement the battery power by hooking it up to a generator, creating energy while you're driving your vehicle on battery power. This is restoring some of it. And of course, you could also possibly have regenerative braking, which will provide a portion of the energy you have used to get the motorcycle in motion. Uh, later on, what I want to draw your attention to is this right here being run by this, okay? The engine, as has been proven on Mythbusters, since a lot of people in my comments like to mention Mythbusters, an engine, a combustion engine, can be ran 
purely on hydrogen gas. So later, instead of using gasoline in this engine to make it even more, uh, not just uh, fuel efficient, but cleaner, you can turn this into um, a hydrogen burning by, by simply just changing out the, the fuel. But you have to have some kind of system in place, I guess. Uh, it's, it's, you have to have, it looks like a uh, one of those tanks you'd use for diving that holds the, the hydrogen gas. You guys will come up with something. You know, just trade out the gasoline and, and put in, in its place, put it in hydrogen gas tank of some, some kind to run the engine. Then you not only have it clean burning, but then we're moving away from fossil fuels. We're already now, I wanted to do something that I could give you guys right now. That's why I've come up with this, okay, to, to let you know. It's not like it's something new. We already know about hybrids. But I wanted to let you know about this right here that you can do right now to get better gas mileage on your cars. Switch out your combustion engine for electric motor to drive your car and have a very small combustion engine just to, to run a generator to help supplement your battery power and boom you get more out of it. You can, instead of just running, say, for 100 miles or 200 miles, by having this little thing right here, an engine running a generator creating electricity, while you're using some of it up from the batteries, you're replenishing it while you're driving. And that is going to increase the distance you can go every time you charge your batteries. And this could be running while you're stopped or at work, uh, at, a, at, a, at the grocery store or at work or something like that. You can let this just keep running underneath the hood and restoring your batteries and have it automatically shut off when the batteries get to a certain uh, charge level. <coughs> so there's a lot of stuff that goes into this. Now later on, when you get to the, when you guys have perfected uh, the combustion engine running on hydrogen, you may not even need to switch out your, your combustion engine to an electric motor. Because you can just, as Mythbusters has proven, run a combustion engine well, not a one horsepower, it's whatever size engine you actually have in your vehicle, you may just, just instead of doing hybrid version, just go ahead and straight, go straight to, to hydrogen burning. Customize your car to just take in hydrogen instead of, uh, instead of gasoline. So that's another way to do it. But right now, this is the idea here, just to take the motorcycle, a small, smallest vehicle you can drive on the road, perfect this idea right here using this, then move into the automotive industry where you're talking about cars, trucks, RVs, and so on and so forth. I think the best application for this right here, and, and using the electric motor driven, uh, and that's what I want this to be for, a model to use for other vehicles. Use this as a model and play with it around this and perfect this, play around with it and perfect it, excuse me. We need to get into the, the truck industry. The trucking industry is, the, is, our, is our bloodline for all of our products and services, they come by truck. So if we can get them to, to be uh, energy efficient and use, maybe use, even use electric motors, but the best thing I think is to switch out diesel and use the hydrogen as fuel for our trucks. That would, would make it, I mean, we have unlimited supply of, of hydrogen gas sitting off of all of the United States coastline. It's called water. We know about electrolysis. We know how to separate hydrogen from oxygen. We don't even have to have it shipped to us from another country. We have unlimited supply. It's like having an unlimited supply of oil. We have it sitting right off our coast. Put plants up right on the Colorado coastline to, to pump the water. And maybe, maybe we could just distribute the water to begin with to all parts of the country. And the plants can be in each, um, so many cities in each state. And from there, the hydrogen gas is distributed to all the cities in the form of, like, you know, hydrogen, you know, gas pumps. I don't know, something like that, but that's the general idea. We need to move to hydrogen because we, we, we don't even have to, to, to pump it. it. We don't have to have it shipped to us from another country. It's sitting right on our coast. And we don't want to use our groundwater because that's what we drink. But then there's also those atmospheric condensers like I think it was shown on TV where they use um, uh, they condense the moisture from the air and combine it into water in, the, in Africa someplace so that people can have drinking water we can do that here so that's enough of that <laughs>